And here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike Fragment Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lows. Can you tell the difference between a real pair and a fake pair? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another comparison video for you. And as you can tell by the thumbnail title of this video, it's between two pairs of the Travis Fragment Jordan 1 Lows. So this is a pretty expensive pair, and I'll just be going through the differences between a retail one and a fake one, and what to look for if you're trying to purchase the retail one. So we paid quite a lot of money for this, basically just for this comparison. So we'll just be breaking down some of the differences between the fake one and the retail one. But before we get into the video, let's give a big shout out to today's sponsor. Legitmark is the standard for sneaker authentication and is the safest and most reliable place to get your sneakers authenticated. Out of all the apps that I've tried, this is definitely the one to use. And if you're paying this much for a pair of shoes, you're gonna to wanna to make sure they are the real deal. So there's a link in the description if you wanna check out Legitmark. So here are the two boxes themselves. And obviously they come in that fragment, like plastic sleeve over the top of the boxes. What I would say is the fake one is a little bit more scuffed and damaged than the retail one, but that's gonna happen over time. So don't really look too much into this. In terms of the pattern itself, they are basically exactly the same. There is really no difference at all. They've done a really good job at replicating this. In terms of the color of the boxes, I would say that the retail one is a slightly lighter cream-like color. The fake one is a little bit more dark, but that's really hard to tell and only can really be seen in studio lighting. And this occurs once again on the actual text on the top of the box. The Nike text is darker on the fake box compared to the retail one. In terms of sizing of the box, they are very similar indeed. I would say that the fake one is slightly bigger than the retail one, but the difference is maybe just a centimeter, so there really isn't that at all. These are both a UK 9, so the comparable differences should be very similar. So we'll take the box out of the sleeve now and take a look at the label. If you go close up of the label here, we can see differences once again. Obviously, the fake one is based on the US label, so it does come with the US price tag of $150. Whereas the retail one here is purchased in the UK and does not have this tag. In terms of the actual text itself, what I would say is the Air Jordan 1 Low OGSP on the fake one is slightly more bold than the retail one. But other than that, they've done a very good job of the text itself and it looks very, very similar. But nobody really wants to see me talk about the boxes all day, so we will open them up and take a look at the shoes. So we'll open up the fake box and here is the retail one. Obviously the retail one does come with the StockX branding, so it has a little leaflet as well. And then a long sticker, which I don't know what you'd ever stick that to, but a long sticker. So here are the two paper packaging over the top. What I would say is the pink on the fake one is darker than it is on the retail one. The retail one is a slightly lighter one and also looks a little bit thinner. The fake one here is much thicker paper than that of the retail one. In terms of the print itself, I would say it's much more clear and dark on the fake one compared to the retail one. But this is pretty minimal and quite hard to see. So we'll open them up. And here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike Fragment Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lows. Can you tell the difference between a real pair and a fake pair? So, here are the two pairs straight out of the box. And to be fair, straight out of the box, they look pretty good, but we'll now be going into detail at some of the differences between the two pairs. So, the first thing to note straight away is these are both dead stock pairs, never been worn straight out of the box. It's actually the first time I've actually unboxed the retail and the fake side by side. And if you look at the top, you can see that the fake ones have come pre laced. This does not occur on the retail one. Obviously the retail one has a lace straight through the bottom, but other than that, they are pretty much unlaced throughout the entire tongue. So there is a difference between a retail and a fake. So do look out for that if you are trying to purchase a dead stock pair. If the person has them laced, it's very likely that they are fake. 
this is how they should come. So the next difference to note actually occurs on the back of the shoe. And if we take a close look at this Air Jordan embroidery on the heel, we can see the Air Jordan on the retail one is much bolder than on the fake one. The fake one, the text is actually much slimmer than the retail one. And in terms of the overall embroidery, the gaps between each embroidered stitching is bigger on the retail one compared to the fake. A common difference between all shoes when comparing a real one to a fake one, especially on Nikes, is the actual toe box shape. So if we can take a close look here, you can see differences once again. So on the retail one, you can see it perfectly curves round, whereas on the fake one, you can see it has that more squared off toe box area towards the end. And this is a clear difference between the retail and fake. And this occurs on many shoes when looking at the real one compared to the fake one. What is known as a key flaw between fake pairs and real pairs of these is actually on the stitching going around the bottom of the sole. So as you know, when they attach the sole plate to the actual upper of the shoe, they do a stitching line all the way around. And if I give you a close up of the inner side of the fake one, you can see it has that almost double stitch mark where one stitch goes over the other one and it creates an almost double layer. So it sticks out a bit from the sole. This is a common flaw on these fakes. Whereas if you look at the retail one, there's seamless stitching going all the way around and there's no overlapping of stitching in the entirety of the sole. Another thing that can be noticed is actually the Cactus Jack print on the inside of the shoe. On the retail pair, it actually blends in pretty much completely with the actual material below, whereas on the fake one, it stands out a lot more. It's very bold on the fake one compared to the retail one, so it's much more noticeable on the fake one, and I actually prefer it on the fake one. However, it is a noticeable difference between the real one and the fake one itself. Another difference occurs on the actual tongue of the shoes. So on the retail one, if we look at the positioning of the Cactus Jack symbol on the tongue, you can see it's completely different to the fake one. On the fake one, you can see the top left part of the Cactus Jack symbol almost touches the outside stitching, whereas on the retail one, there's a slight gap between this and the stitching. So you can see it's positioned slightly differently. I know this is a minor difference, but if you are paying this amount for a shoe, do look out for these small details if you are trying to legit check them. On the inner side of the heel, you can see it has the fragment text going along the top of the sole. If you compare this retail to fake, you can see differences here once again. The retail one is much more cleanly printed, whereas the fake one is slightly smudge and a little bit too bold compared to the retail one. So it is a noticeable difference when you are holding them up side by side. However, if you're just holding the fake one in hand, this could be quite hard to tell. What I will say is the fake one has got the spare laces absolutely spot on. There is no difference between any of the colors on any of the laces. The pink, the navy, and the black so that come spare are all exactly the same as what are on the fake one. So that's quite worrying to see. On the left shoe, if we spin it around to the back, we can see differences in the actual shape of the shoe from the back. So if you look at it from the back, and I'll show you them side to side, you can see the heel of the fake one is much shorter than it is on the retail one. Therefore, the Cactus Jack symbol on the back, once again, is positioned differently. This is because the shape differs on the retail one to the fake, so it's quite easy to tell the difference from the heel. As you can see, it's much larger on the retail one compared to the fake one. If you spin the shoe upside down and take a look at the tread on the bottom, there are actually differences between the retail and the fake. The retail one is a much darker blue than it is on the fake one, as well as the actual underlying pattern on the sole itself. So if I give you a close up of this and underneath the Nike logo, you can see differences in the pattern underneath, as well as the actual Nike logo itself. On the retail one, it stands out a little bit more than it does on the fake one. If we switch back to the right shoe and we take a look at the stitching here, just above the swoosh, and I'll give you a close up of this, you can see on the retail one, the stitching goes underneath the first lace hole at the top. Whereas if we take a look at the fake one here, you can see the stitching goes all the way along and underneath the second hole at the top of the shoe. So there are differences in the position of the stitching itself and it kind of makes the stitching look a lot longer on the fake one compared to the retail one. However, these differences can only really be spotted from close up and if you're actually analyzing the shoe from a distance, you would not notice it at all. So as you can see from this video, these shoes are really, really close and actually quite worryingly close for quite an early batch of this shoe. So do be careful if you are trying to legit check and if you don't know the difference between a retail and fake, check out Legit Mark because they are here to help you. But yeah, that is quite scary to see and probably one of my closest comparisons that I've ever done. So thank you very much for watching. Without you, wouldn't be able to do comparisons like this. And my next one is gonna be the high version of these. So do stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.